if you want to go to the highest point in County Kilkenny, it's Brandon Hill. Brandon Hill is pretty easy to find on Google and actually it brought us to a Raheen de Noor car park, uh, but there was a good sign off the road saying Brandon Hill Walk. The road up to the car park was a bit rough, but you know, nothing the normal car can't handle. And then this yellow gate here showed us the end of that route and there was a car park available. And actually there's a handy map as you're leaving the car park just to tell you what to expect or what direction to go as you start your walk up the hill. One thing I will say about this one is it's really well uh, signposted all the way up. Looking across, if it was a nicer day, you'd probably be able to see into the Blackstairs Mountains and things like uh, Mount Leinster, but today wasn't that nice. You are faced not that long into the walk with a choice of a left or a right, but um, if you see over here on the left, there's always these signposts over here, and they are very easy to follow, and they will tell you what kind of distance you have left on your walk up. So really, while you will be faced with choices, you never get stuck where you don't know what direction to follow. It's reasonably strenuous walking up, but anyone with an average level of fitness will find it no problem. Uh, but there's a lot of uphill walking at this point at the start for the first 10 or 15. Then a little bit of a downhill section. Uh, so you get a little bit of a rest there for about maybe five minutes. You can see where there's another road that links up. Again, the signpost, very, very straightforward. And you're just walking dead straight on. The surface is actually quite soft as well, so it's quite forgiving. Um, this section here, not very, very steep, but there's still a bit of an incline. And once we get past where the wood has been cut down, you get some nice uh, views again over the countryside. My good feeling is it's probably from the car park where we were circa about 50 minutes to an hour. Again, another section here where you might get confused if the signs weren't there because you could go straight on or you could look up to your right. But the signpost again, brilliant, really simple, straightforward and just keep walking. So now we go into a wooded section, a little bit rougher along here. This area would not be buggy friendly. So uh, I don't think you want to be able to push a child all the way to the top of this one, unfortunately. Um, but not something that it would uh, cause for concern with normal footwear. We use runners all the way up. If it was a different time of year, maybe hiking boots might be more prudent. Over the gate here, again, simple signpost tells you what direction to go. Um, there's only one section up here where you will have a choice, even with the signposts. So you get up to this section here and there's two signposts. So you can go along this section here, which is about 1.2 kilometers to the top, or you can turn left and aggressively go up this uh, section here, which is 0.8 of a kilometer. A uh, little bit rougher and much steeper. So there's a good workout from here. One thing I found of this actually, there was a section where you could actually see the summit where the cross was, but it took ages to get up there. Uh, but again, when I say ages, you know, 10, 15 minutes, but you can see it inside, I thought it'd be quicker. Anyway, the trick point at the top, this is the summit. And unfortunately, on our day, we couldn't see much, but I would imagine this is a lovely view because I can just barely make out some really nice views. Uh, and there's also this over here, which gives you a guide of what direction to look and what to see around the place. Anyway, thanks a for watching. Hopefully the video's been useful. Uh, hopefully if you do, you'll have a better view than we